time is it? You know what time it is. It's time to hit that subscribe button. It's right there, there, and hit the little notification bell while you're at it. And it's time to find my Instagram, Geekly Amanda, G E K O I Amanda. Same on Twitter. And it's time to get this movie review started. It's a movie review time. Oh yeah. Rachel, I got an early little sneak peek of the Doolittle movie. Starring Robert Downey Jr., his first kind of movie since the Iron Man age, right? He's going from Iron Man to speaking with all the superheroes and, and leading their charge now to talking to the animals. Now, it's a remake of a remake of a book, right? They have a book about this. They had many remakes. Didn't they even have an Eddie Murphy, Murphy remake of this movie? At first, I'm going to tell y'all. I was kind of just like meh about the movie. I was like, I don't know how I feel about it. I liked the other ones. It was all right. It wasn't my favorite. I mean, it's a guy who talks to animals and, he, and he's a doctor. Dr. Doolittle and he speaks to the animals. We know the story, but how can they make it different? How can Robert Downey Jr. make it different in this? I was pleasantly surprised, y'all. I know it's been getting low reviews, but I surprisingly enjoyed Based on do little character who speaks to animals he's going through a rough time he had lost his other love and he's like put himself in this castle place and letting his hair grow with all these dreads just not wanting to speak to the outside world or the humans he's just gonna be friends with the animals isn't he because he speaks to them in their own language it's not like they speak to him in his uh, secret human language or whatever. He like learned all the, the different animals languages. That interaction in itself was kind of neat because I love the way he interacted with the animals. He wasn't like just the doctor that performed surgery. He was like a psychologist to him. Like with the one that the, the, the gorilla, he uh, had problems. He was always scared of things and all. And so he's talking to him. You can't be a prisoner of fear and all this stuff. I thought it was okay. cute. And he gets a little apprentice by accident. And he has to go either lose his property or go help the queen who's dying. And there becomes this big, long journey. It was cute to me. It's really geared towards little kids. I mean, little kids are going to love this and enjoy it. The jokes, the jokes have me cracking up. And you know... I love me a good little pooper fart joke. I do! And they had one in this that I was dying laughing. I think I was the only one in the audience cracking up like I was. But it was hilarious to me. It was one the kids are going to love. They are going to love this. It has animals talking. It has Robert Downey Jr. Who they know as Iron Man now is this silly kind of character. I could see why Robert Downey Jr. would want to go from a serious kind of Avengers fight movie to just this fun, silly role that I feel like he didn't have to think of much. He has this little accent or, and it just seemed kind of fake to me. But still, it was fun. I was like, look at him trying to do a little accent talking to animals. He's not going to win any awards. You're going to go to this just to have something not serious to think about, not too much to think about, just to something watch with the kids, fun, enjoy, and laugh. I gave it a 6 out of 10. I mean, it's fun. I would see it again. Y'all, let me know what you think. Comments, thumbs. If you have seen it yet or plan to see it, I'm telling you, I enjoyed it. And it's got fart jokes. What else can you ask for? Comments, thumbs, all that kind of stuff. Till next time. Bye, y'all. Everybody, welcome back to Mother Popcorn. Thank you all for clicking on this video. If you guys are new, my name is Stephanie, and as you can tell, I survived the flu. Today, we're going to be talking about Doolittle. We have no choice but to embark on this perilous journey. So, Doolittle is rated PG. It's an hour and 41 minutes long. It's considered a fantasy adventure, and it's set to come out January the 17th. Doolittle is basically like a reboot of Dr. Doolittle with the one with Eddie Murphy that came back like in the 90s or whatever. Um, I enjoyed Dr. Doolittle. I was really a fan of it. Yes, it's pretty cheesy. Even at that time, it was pretty cheesy. Only part one, I don't really remember part two to be honest with you. And I know part three is the one with the daughter. And, um, and I know there's also part four with the daughter as well. Actually, I think there's five parts. I don't know who comes on the fifth part. Uh, but either way it goes, I'm only a fan of the original Dr. Doolittle. And yeah, you guys, I'm going to go off and just say it. I, I really wasn't a fan of this movie. It It's your typical January movie, to be honest with you. Yes, it's a great family film. I, I'm going to give it that, yes. Um, but I really feel like the kids have to be really between a certain age to really appreciate what can be appreciated from this film. 
I'm gonna try to give you as much as I can without really spoiling the movie. For whatever reason, the queen summons him. Um, they had a close relationship before he officially closed off. And she has fallen greatly ill, okay? So, apparently the only doctor that she trusts is a vet. Because, because remember, Doolittle is, is a it's vet. After he ends up finding out certain things about her state. And has to go find like this magical fruit, Eden fruit, whatever. It has to go on this voyage, okay? Again, I, I can't. She's a vet, you guys. And the queen summoned a vet to... Yeah, there's that, okay? The, the jokes fall really short. Honestly, they, they really do. So I think I chuckled twice. Chuckled, okay? That was like a quick little chuckle. I don't know how well the kids are really going to like respond to all this. There is a fart joke. Okay, well it's not really a fart joke, they're just a fart like that lasts too long, okay? It involves a dragon. Um, that's about as much of a spoiler as I'm gonna give to you. And don't get me wrong, okay? I, I can laugh at a good fart joke if it is, you know, done right. But this was not. Mm. Craig's, um, he's a squirrel. He's probably the most entertaining one for the most part and there's this one part, again, this guy's like a spoiler or whatever. Kid, the one that's gonna be um, Doolittle's apprentice, ends up accidentally shooting the squirrel. And there's like some funny little things that come on with that. But when he kind of comes out of his like surgery, he had like this whole like PTSD like flashback and then he's all like, Ugh, revenge. But it never goes anywhere after that. Like I was expecting like actual revenge to be going throughout the movie. If you're gonna like make that point, I was expecting him maybe throwing like wigs or making the kid fall you know like actual revenge things but there's nothing really that goes after that Robert Downing Jr.'s like weird accent I mean I don't know they're in England and that's not an English accent and I don't really know where that accent's from to be honest with you and I know I'm bashing it you guys but at the end of the day it was an entertaining movie Okay, I'm gonna give it that. I'm not gonna take that away from me. Is it going to be memorable? I, I really don't think it is, honestly. I don't really see it making it into my best of the year so far. I definitely don't. I doubt that I'm gonna remember it at the end of the year. So I recommend for you to watch it? No, absolutely not. I go back to my popcorn rating. Remember, that's the new thing that I'm trying this year. I'm giving it like a kid's pack rating. It's, it's, it was good. It was enjoyable, but it leaves you wanting more. I think this is a better movie to just have like a family night at home. Bag of popcorn in the microwave and then like just get cozy. It's definitely not for everybody. I really don't think like all the kids are going to even enjoy this to be honest with you. So if you've seen Doolittle, let me know down below what you guys thought about it. And did you like it, did you love it, did you hate it, or was it just not for you? But before you guys stick out of this video, don't forget to get a like. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified each time I post something new. And until next time, I'll be seeing you guys at confessions. Bye!